Now, the government will deploy more helicopters and train more personnel in a bid to stop the spread of the desert locusts in the northeastern part of the country. Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mwangi Kionjuri is at the same time calling for concerted efforts from all Kenyans in the fight against the destructive insects. Dennis Ocheno reports. <laughs> It is almost a month since the dreaded desert locusts invaded parts of Mandera and Wajia counties. The insects have now spread to Marsabit, Garissa, Isiolo and more recently Samburu. But the government says it is in control and has so far distributed necessary materials to affected counties to help contain the spread. We can assure you by Wednesday the, air, the third aircraft will be uh, in place. We shall look at the, the other very strategic position where we, sh- we are going to press it. We have mobilized enough chemicals, personnel. The pesticides we use, we f- formulate it. It's particularly formulated to be ULV, ultra low volume spray. So we are releasing very little doses for long distances, but it's still very effective. <laughs> Bali watu wanalisha ngombe saa ingine. Lakini pande hii hakuna hii misitu mingi. Hapa ni chakula peki yake. Our instructions kwamba tutengeze kamati ya emergency. Tumenunua mask, tumenunua pumps, tumenunua dawa. We can attack them when they are moving. Which is a bit dangerous and difficult. For example, yesterday we were able to attack one of them, of the swarm, as they were frying in Wajia. The CEA is pleading with Kenyans to play their role in stopping the locusts from getting out of control. That people need to be very alert, especially in the evenings. From about 4, 5 up to 6, they can now locate them because definitely at allowed 6, they are going to rest. The CEA has also reached out to neighboring countries to help in the fight against the locusts. This is a regional issue, matter. And we expect every country to contain them. In fact, if they were contained in their country of origin, we will not be having this problem. The Ministry of Agriculture has requested for 254 million shillings from the emergency fund to control the deadly pest. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.